welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I am the Mingo. Special K, and tonight we're doing Saga Tux Peanut Butter Porter, smooth and creamy. It's 5.7% alcohol by volume. It's by the Saga Tuck Brewing, which is made in Michigan. Now, the weird thing about this can, maybe I'm wrong, but it's got a, it's printed on the can on the top here where it says Saga Tuck Brewing Co. Uh, but then it's got a paper sticker Label on it, thing, but it looks yeah. like it's covering something up. So we're gonna do some investigating. So I'm gonna see if there's anything underneath this. Do you have your this. pocket knife on you? I don't. Uh, we'll don't probably know. just puncture the can anyways if we try to do that. Oh, there is stuff underneath of it. Is it like a There is stuff label? underneath oh, of it! Oh shit! <laughs> what? 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 So which one it is says, this? It says Oval Beach Blonde Ale. So which one is this? So I'm thinking they might they just reuse recycled the cans. The can, yeah, yeah, they recycled the cans. That's a smart idea. Aluminum is expensive right now, so let me bring this up to the camera. So I'm gonna be really pissed if this is a blonde ale. That's all I'm saying. This is what was underneath the label. Let's focus real quick. There it goes. Um, which is Oval Beach Ale. This is what was over top of that, and that's what we're supposed to be reviewing. It's what's supposed to be in here. Hopefully. So I'm assuming that they are. Just recycling the can. That would make sense. Yeah. Um, because, you know, there's an aluminum shortage right now anyway, so. Yeah. That would make sense. All right, well, we'll know if it's dark. Yeah. Is it gonna be blonde or is it gonna be dark? It's already dark. It's blonde. dark, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not a bad idea. If you all don't know, KBR history, our first tin beer was also a Sockets Hut beer. It was a s'mores porter. Yep. Pretty good. Though. I haven't seen that beer ever since. Uh, so that's how, like literally all the really good beers that we review really highly. It's like you see it once and it's like where to go. Right. Let's just put that back on there. Yes. The beer I missed. The, or there's two beers that are discontinued that I miss. Freaking Goose Island Honkers Ale and freaking Shatter Prickly Pear. Uh, you can get Prickly Pear. It's seasonal. But it's like uh, it's like every three years or something though. It's weird. So it's slightly darker than Coca Cola, meaning you can see through just a tiny bit of yeah, through the light. But this I mean, is it's like the weird. color that I like my tea to be. It's a porter, so if you don't know what a porter is, it's a stout junior. It's essentially yeah. a lighter version of a stout. It's a, a lot more carbonated than I thought it was going to be though. Uh, khaki head. It's very peanut forward. A lot of peanut. Peanut candy. Yeah, uh, specifically Mary Jane. Yeah. Kind of dull, but it's there. Yeah. Very uh, evident. Let's try. It. I was not expecting the creaminess, but I like it. Well, it says creamy on it. Oh, did it? Mm-hmm. Mm. I did not pay attention. Um, it's nice that it's a porter and not a stout because it's not quite as heavy. Mm-hmm. That's drinkable. But you still get plenty of flavor up front, a lot of peanut butter. What's the ABV on this? 5.7. Okay. Nice and creamy. Um, tiny bit of roastiness, like not a, not a stout roastiness, but just enough roastiness that does cut through some of the sweetness of the peanut but butter. Almost, it's not too sweet. It almost makes it taste like a uh, like a honey roasted peanut butter, mm -hmm. almost. It's good. Yeah. This is a good beer. Yeah, I mess with this heavy. If not, uh, going on the great range. Um, and I will say with this beer company, I know they're a relatively smaller brewery. I will say that this beer specifically, it almost tastes like it's a draft, like, mm -hmm. like, a, like, a, like a crowler or something. Yeah. But Country uh, Boys sort of tastes like that. Their beers sort of taste like they're draft. They always taste like they're draft, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to give this an eight and a half. I think it's stellar for real for what it is. I mean, this is probably the best peanut butter beer I've had in a long time. I mean, it's better than, uh, what's the one, the Dewclaw? Uh, Sweet Baby Jesus? Yeah. I don't know if it's better than Sweet Baby Jesus, but it's mm -hmm. up there. Uh, I just like the addition of the creaminess, and then um, if I can get another yeah. one, well, Sweet Baby Jesus is a stout too, so yeah, it would be hard to compare the two. But um, no, I think it's really good for what it is, and it's super drinkable. And yep, this is what we're doing right now. I would get peanut butter whiskey if I were you. Uh, Screwball. Why, uh, why not uh, whiskey? Why, bro. why not both? No, you want peanut butter. Why, why, why not both? Well, I might have to put more beer in there. Well, get more beer, but you're gonna get that screwball. All right, right screwball. Right there in the middle. Alright, cool. Okay, I mean, we could have done the bird dog too, but... Hey, peanut butter whiskey is where it's at. Peanut butter whiskey Peanut butter whiskey. liqueur, not, not so much. Not as much. Alright, so, let's get it. No, you gotta pour the, that in there first, that way it mixes when you pour the more beer on top of it. So Wait, pour the whiskey. it in the can? No, pour the whiskey in the cup. Oh, okay, okay. And okay, then pour gotcha, the beer on gotcha. top of it, that way it helps mix it. There you go. Well, you got, okay there, bro. We, we going a full shot in there, alright? Yeah. Two shots of vodka. 
All right. Uh, I'll just mix it a little bit, I guess. There you go. All right. Down the hatch. See how it goes with peanut butter. Oh, we're, we're going the whole thing. All right. So much peanut butter. <laughs> but I could not taste the whiskey. That was yeah. interesting. Yeah, all right. Well, so do a drop shot with this and screwball, right? I guess I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm going to be sleeping in the closet tonight now. Yeah, we all know what you're going to happen in there. <laughs> going to have to get Big big Sam's Squatch in there to keep you company. Uh, I'm good on that. Mm -hmm. uh, Did you break this yet? No. Uh, <laughs> nine. I'm going to give it a nine. Uh, the only thing that's get removing points for me is availability and price, so I'm going to give it a nine. It's one of the best peanut butter porters I've ever had. Uh, it doesn't taste too fake. Uh, it doesn't. It's not too sweet. Does it actually contain peanut products? I wonder. Well, I imagine it probably does. Uh, it does not say. Uh, I would say the label's pretty pretty basic, and uh, yeah, I just looked at all the warning labels and I didn't see anything about nuts. Mm, you don't know about the nuts. But does it say anything about actual nuts in the description right there? No, no, because you already read that part, didn't you? Oh, yeah, well. solid. Yeah, highly recommend it. Go ahead and at least get a single, if not a whole six pack, if you can find it in your area. They're a Michigan brewery, so Michigan, uh, their beers get distributed pretty widely, just because all the big breweries are there. You have yeah, the founders, founders, and uh, uh, a bunch of other ones. Also, that's where Hot Cat started. Yeah, there's a ton of breweries there, so I can't see why that wouldn't get that, widely distributed. Gotta get, gotta get that grr. Great Lakes stuff like that. Um, yeah, highly recommend if you're into peanut butter beers. Um, all right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and our website. I'm Special K. And our Patreon. Sure. Thanks for watching.